Hi, I'm Lisa from Pink Hollybush Designs. Welcome to my sewing studio where we talk all things sewing and smocking. Now today I have 12 free geometric smocking plates to share with you. Uh, oh, oh no. Oh, come back. Where, where are they going? All kidding aside, I really do have 12 geometric smocking plates for you, but that was my way of just um, trying to let you know that if you're interested in any of these, you need to go and download them fairly soon. So I wrote um, the original blog post when I found these designs back in 2018. I researched them, wrote a whole blog post listing them all. And in preparation for this video, I went back to that blog post, updated all the links, made sure everything was still there. And unfortunately, one of the things I found was that several of the designs were no longer available. And of the designs that are still there, other than um, couple of free ones from my website. They are on blogs that no new content has been added to in several years. So I have no idea how long they will continue to be available. So this is just a little encouragement. If you like any of these designs, go grab them, download them, make a copy however you want to save them so you have them in the future. So with that little um, encouragement, let's dive in. I'm going to go through the designs and I'm going to give you some ideas of how you might want to incorporate them or use them in your smocking. Now all of these designs are suitable for a beginner. Um, they only use the basic three stitches of cable, wave, and trellis. So um, again, anybody uh, who um, knows how to smock and is even just beginning smocking can use any of these designs. By the way, if you are interested in smocking and um, you want to know more about it, but you don't know how to get started, I have a whole video I will link to it called Get Started Smocking. So go check that out. Um, all right, let's dive in and talk about these designs. So the first um, three that I have for you are from um, Mishi Mooney and um, are available on her website along with um, her patterns. So um, there are three, one for um, that she used on a bonnet and then um, two more for she designed for bishops. So let's talk about the bonnet one first. This is a nice small design. It's um, designed to go straight across. That's how she used it in the bonnet. So it would be great if you're making a um, simple square yoke dress. If you wanted to use the katina pattern from Children's Corners that only has a few rows of smocking, it would also work great with any pink hollybush pattern. Um, and for either like May Garden or um, July Flowers where you only have a couple rows of smocking, you could use this design if you wanted to. So those would all be some great options. You also could use it with the pink hollybush bonnet and just use this design rather than one of the ones that comes with the pattern. Both of the bishop designs are a little bit bigger, but not much. They are um, include six rows of smocking. So um, again, a, not a huge investment if you're just starting out and don't want to smock rows and rows. Um, just because these designs call for a bishop doesn't mean you have to use them on a bishop. With um, both of these designs, the one um, for the blue bishop and the one for the yellow bishop, um, the thing that makes them appropriate for the bishop is that the bottom rows of the design allow it, the design to spread out. You don't have like a row of cables at the bottom that's going to hold everything together. But you certainly could use these designs with um, a straight yoke dress like a Lee from Children's Corner or um, be perfect on honey um, 
from Pink Holly Bush. So either of those would be great, or of course you could use them on a bishop. Also just includes a very simple um, design that she used on the sleeve. So you could use that as well, or you could just use that very simple design if you were doing like a week hair gown and you were looking for something real simple um, to add, use that sleeve design on a week hair gown. Okay. Um, let's jump over to Claire Meldrum. Now, Claire out of Canada actually has five different designs on her website that you can get. Three of them are historic designs, so that's kind of fun. She has one from the 1930s, one from the 1940s, and then one that's from, um, that she designed, she recreated from the book Simplified Smocking. Okay, now, but all three of those designs, the 1930s, the 1940s, and the um, one from Simplified Smocking, use a lot of rows of smocking. But if you don't want to use that way, if you're not doing a dress that has that many rows of smocking, it's very simple to just cut out a few rows and um, to do the parts that you would like. So for example, on the, um, this one from the simplified smocking, you could easily cut out, I'm kind of looking at the design as I'm talking to you, you could easily um, cut out rows two, three, and six, for example, which are cohubal rows, and just then shift the bottom rows up, or you could um, cut out rows four and five and condense the design together. You know, have fun with it. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Now, um, the Bueller plate with those trellis at the bottom would certainly work on a bishop because it's allowing the design to open up. So that's another possibility. I certainly would not do um, all nine rows on a bishop. That would be a lot unless you're doing an older girl's bishop where you would have that many rows. But um, if you want to do a smaller child's um, bishop design, as I said, just eliminate some of the rows, but make sure that you incorporate those bottom ones that have the, the trellis, the seven, eight, and nine, so that the design can open up around the shoulders. So Claire also has another design that um, on there that she calls the tiny um, trellis band. Um, Again, this would be great to just use as an insert somewhere, a very small amount. I could see this being a great design if you were trying to make um, like Rosie from Pink Hollybush where you have just some a little bit of smocking on either side or if you um, wanted to do like the colors etc pattern that has just a little bit of smocking right here this would be a fun one to just put a little geometric touch of smocking there now one thing to note with the way um, Claire designed this as a band you have on row four you have that cable row going across so that's going to pull everything in and keep it straight so if you were one if you didn't want that, if you wanted to allow it to open up, like on a bishop, you would want to eliminate that cable on row four. All right, let's see. Claire, Claire has another one on her um, site that she designed called the crossover trellis. And again, this would be a appropriate one for a band because, um, or an insert, because it's um, got the bottom cable rows that are pulling it in and holding it together. But I think it would be a lovely one and it would work for a girl or a boy. It doesn't have lots of flowers or hearts that maybe a little boy wouldn't want, um, but you could, um, would be great for an insert. So you could use it um, on uh, Johnny very easily if you want to do a pair of overalls for a boy or a girl. Okay, keep, we're going to keep going. So Martha Pullen has one um, design. It's the Prince William suit, and you can see that it goes on either side of the little shirt. Um, you could just extend it and put it on a Johnny. You could put it on a shirt like it's done in the Martha Pullen example. Would also be a great one to use on Rosie and put it on 
from Pink Holly Bush and put it on either side of the button down band in the center. And then the last um, ones that I have are from Pink Holly Bush. So um, we have a Finley, first of all, which Obviously, I use designed for a bishop, so you have those deep um, trellis um, at the bottom rows which let everything open up, but you certainly could put Finley um, on a straight yoke dress, so it would be perfect on honey um, or um, on a leaf from Children's Corner. So those are a couple possibilities there. If you want something a little smaller, I actually have three plates that I designed for we care so there it's not a lot of smocking and you can get all of those off of my website as well you can use them for we care or you could use them um, you know for your own personal creations as well but again not a lot of smocking now I could see you using one of these on Cantina which um, from Children's Corner which only again use has a few rows of smocking if you don't want to um, do a ton and you're just getting started. Um, my um, last one that is available from Pink Holly Bush is the Daisy design. And again, it was designed for Bishop, so it opens up, but I'm sure you're tired of <laughs> hearing me say this, it, you don't have to use it on a bishop. So the general rule, if you're not um, familiar with it, the bishop needs to open up around the shoulders. So you always have to be careful that you that it's open on those bottom rows and it's not constricting it in. Um, if you're doing something, if you have a smocked skirt on the front that goes straight across, again, you can have any of those designs that open up. If you're doing a smocked band, then you're going to want, with an insert, then you're going to want something that is pulling that bottom row in to keep everything straight. So I hope that um, is a little clear. So um, obviously I have links down below for all of these designs. And as I said before, make sure if you're interested in any of them that you go grab them now, download them, save them so you have them. If you like this video, make sure to hit that, uh, that like, thumbs up, subscribe. I will be doing more um, free smocking design um, videos in the future. Right now I, will, I have several blog posts that have more um, free smocking designs and I will list those below as well. So I hope you give one of these a try. If you do, let me know that in the comments and happy smocking.